Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another edition of the Damn Music Show. I have no idea what's happening today, Darren. Uh, Do you from the, usually on most days? I rarely. It's what day is it, right? You just wake up, look good, and go through the world. I and woke succeed. up like this. I yeah. woke up like this. Yeah. yeah, I actually did wake up like this. Yeah, actually, yeah, I, 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 I put a comb against my beard, and that was about it. You have your beard? <laughs> yeah, I haven't combed my hair in twenty yeah, man, years. If, so I don't know. If you right. don't, the beard just looks like this. Like ZZ it's heading, top, it's top. heading west. You, you know, you should go all ZZ top with it, man. Uh, you know, I don't know. I, I feel like I've, I've gone pretty far. I mean, it, it feels like moderate to. <laughs> Like mid length committal. Yeah. Anyways, uh, we're going into the depths here. Somebody has asked us like multiple times for a video, right? Yeah, or for was, a band. So further proof, we do read all comments. We comment on all comment, even for you people that say insanely stupid things, and that that's a growing number just, right that now. Just bring us down. Um, yeah, no, no, no. This is all good. We got asked to uh, react to crash test dummies from yeah. 1995 yeah. and uh, the bout of Peter Pumpkinhead a couple of times. So this is this song goes all the way to 95. Yeah. We've never once said the phrase crash test dummies on this show. No. Um, you know, I, I actually forgot about that band. I, I I did listen to them in the late 80s and early 90s in college, uh, for sure. I, I respect their uniqueness. Respect. They have a different sound. Yeah. What's funny about these guys is back in the day, they would have just been called alternative rock. Yeah, yeah. Now I have no idea how to classify them because we have so many different sub, sub, sub genres. Yeah. But uh, I'll be curious. Uh, are you familiar with this band at all? Do you no, know? I got nothing. Yeah. I got nothing. I mean, as of right you know now, I, as of right now, I have nothing. But as of yeah. like when we put on the song, maybe like maybe it'll trigger. Well, like, oh, big, right. The big hit was Superman, where you remember the song was. Please keep going. Talking about how uh, Batman and Superman. I thought I was at the auto. I thought I was just at the automotive shop where they're like, yeah, yeah, it's going like. Mm -hmm. So it's, yeah, it's a guy and a girl. They're the lead singer. I think the lead singer's name is Brad. He's got a unique right, Brad. Got a baritone voice. But um, I, you know, we we did an episode of ninety ninety five. How competitive those years were, and that's when they came out. Oh, okay. So, man, so just they, rough. they had to compete with all those tough fans. Watch that show. So uh, we we expect this video to get about four views. Yeah, it's just a crash test. Us from two years watching ago, it but, twice, and then yes. the other person that commented <laughs> on it. But we like it. But but we love the suggestion, and we do take suggestions, and we do yeah. put them in here. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. We're not Crash just dummies. here for the WAP, you know? The, you know, yes. we're not just here for the WAP. We're not here for the fame, people. We're here to educate <laughs> and entertain. Yeah, that's right. All right, well, yes. uh, why don't we have a go with this, huh? Let's get in the Wayback Machine and do this. Okay, let's see what's going on. Bonjour, eh? Oh, Canada, eh? Yes. <laughs> well, I thought Canadians this were is part Canadian. of that movie, the original. That was part oh, of the really? Soundtrack. Yeah. Feels very nineties. Okay, okay, okay. I we do a we do a flash rap. I need a minute. I just need a moment. What do you think? Darren? What do you so think? Micah Darren? is a professional musician and uh, music producer. What do you he think? produces musicians right here in the studio. I need time. So, um, I need time. I love the here's what I think. <laughs> All day yesterday I was trying to remember is that the uh, the drum? I love it. Is that the snare that that, that is so prominent in there? Uh, I mean, the snare is very bright and rich, and the yeah. hat is very. All the drums are very prominent in this one. So this song immediately grabs me. I, I put this song in alt rock. That's what it was called back then. They're very, to me. I know you like Talking Heads. They're very Talking Heads, Pretenders, clean tones. 
right here a little uh, a little humorous. No, With, uh, the, hey, we're here to enter. Er, er, yeah, inform, I would not so say I would not say this sounds anything like Talking Heads. I feel like I hear what you're saying on the production style. It's yeah. like a little bit of that, but like, uh, yeah, okay, production tones and styles, but not anything else. Not rhythm. It, it, it was not, driving me crazy. Who this woman? This is very like, songwriter centric. It's not very like rhythm. It's not very ground up. It's very top down. It's very like wrote a song, built a track around it, as opposed oh. to like built a vibe, put a song Isn't on top that of it. Almost the majority of songs. Very though. much not. Like yeah. that Talking oh. Heads for me are like vibe up or, or feel up. And David Byrne talks about that a lot. Uh, Prince a lot of time was rhythm up. I don't mean them. Okay, well, fair enough. Yeah, ground up writing as opposed to like songwriting down. I was uh, listening to the song one time yesterday to re-familiarize it. And then it was driving me crazy who this woman sounds like. And I just now realized who she sounds like. She sounds like Jennifer Nettles, the country singer who sang for... Sugarland. Oh yeah, yeah. That's who she sounds like. It was making me crazy yesterday. So I, uh, the Crash Test Dummies. I don't know a ton about them. I, I like their either. simplicity. They've always had this is very humor. simple, very simple, very yes. clear. And, I feel um, like the, the cast of Friends though is going to show up, and Joey's going to be like, "How you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> they're all headed over to the, uh, yeah. Cafe they're going to the coffee shop. Coffee. Uh, Phoebe's. In fact, is that Phoebe? <laughs> smelly cat. Smelly, smelly cat. cat. All right, let's get a little bit. Yeah. Of Pinky. I don't know. Is that Nicolas Cage? <laughs> what movie is that? Dumb and Dumber. Is that Dumb and Dumb? Yeah. No. Yes, it is. This is a soundtrack for that movie. Quit it. Yeah. I don't remember that scene. Oh, well, it's, it's because they the CGI'd yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, no, not CGI. Hey. He showed up and they filmed it. I, I, I'm a musician, not a videographer. Oh, okay. I forgot how uh, cute that singer is. Are you sure? That looked like crappy CGI. No. That's a strong hook. Yeah, that's all right. Peter Pumpkin Head. Their harmonica, man, is awesome. Well, she looks like Allison Krauss. Am I wrong? With longer hair, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I love the drums. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. I'm tight. What is happening right now? Yeah, I'm going to pause it. <laughs> All right. All right, I can tell you're not a fan. But hey, this, we are a reaction show. We're I'm not, honest, not everything. a fan. I'm not, I'm not, not, a, fan. not a fan. I'm you just don't not. See, you like, probably don't see anything particularly unique in this film. I'm just not like, yeah, I'm not like fully, fully into right. it. Like I'm not, I, I, I'm not not a fan. I like it. It's kind of yeah. down the pike and stuff. I don't know if it's nostalgia for me or not. I do know the song. It was a long time ago. I, I, I've always... Uh, like this band because I think they've paved their kind of their own way. They they sing uh, goofy songs, but they're they're mm -hmm. not stupid. They're just different. There's definitely uh, like they definitely have a message. They have a lot they're trying to say, and I like yeah. that for sure. Yeah. So yeah, well. I like cool. it. And, this and is I, actually... I love Blues Traveler. So like this oh, has like do you a... hear Blues Travelers in this. I mean, are you kidding? Like yeah. the harmonica and everything else going on. Uh, I well, feel like for yeah. sure I'm hearing Blues Traveler. Like. Uh yeah, I hear Blue Traveler is more on the on the low end with a lot of their rhythms. So I mean, I think I think Blue Traveler has more complicated rhythms and stuff going yeah. on. Yeah, yeah. Then then one song we're snapshotting this. So uh, okay. yeah. All right. Well, like, uh, shall we finish it out? So I, I like this song. I I don't think it's amazing. Uh, I uh, Crash Test Tell Me in my mind has always been they did it their own way. They're from Canada. They built a following from the bars. How are you? They, now? they had a couple of cool songs that were uh 
They're just different and unique and by their yeah. lyrics and their, it's, it's whimsical. That's the word I'm it looking for. It is whimsical, for, for sure. Yes. And, and for sure. I, they and they've should, always been that way. I mean, if, the name of their band is Crash Test Dummies. If they, I mean. if they produce a new song called How Are You Now, uh, I'd probably be <laughs> all over it. Right, fair enough. <laughs> all right, let's check it out. Let's finish it. At the altar of Peter. You know the guy in Dumb and Dumber, uh, Jeff Daniels. Is that Jeff his Daniels? Name? Yeah. You know he's a singer and a guitar player too. He plays really? Of, yeah, he's got a lot of uh, whimsical songs as well. He probably enjoyed. Ah, it's probably this. like so, his vibe. There it is. So wrapping it yeah. up. Uh, here's what I have to say. We re- we listened to our uh, we came we our, saw to our we listened. Yeah, we reply, which I'm proud of. Yeah, I'm happy we did it. Though you know, I'll put a couple songs on my Spotify playlist just to like give it some more time to marinate. I feel like yeah, I marinate. maybe need a little more time. Um, but yeah, we're happy to do it. I like it. I'm not going to list it as my top 100 songs ever, but it does have that 90s vibe. I don't know. Yeah. It's, uh, it's definitely not going to my top 100 songs. But like, if you think about your top 100 songs, that's a hard list. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'd well, say I'm top just... even 10,000 is like a pretty yeah. hard list. Uh, but I, I, I guess here's what intrigues me about it. This is my last comment is I feel like today's pop music or or, or alt rock is so heavily produced with so much noise oh, just and nice and sound yeah, into nice it. I kind of miss these clean tones. Yeah. Uh, a little bit. This little yeah. simplicity with the sing along yeah. hook. That's that's what what I love. You're about all music. grown up, Darren. It's yes. the way I like to say it. <laughs> I listen to mini band uh, soccer mom music now. Yeah, uh, for <laughs> sure. I'm, I'm, I'm longing for those days. <laughs> Brett, take me back. All right, guys. Thank you so uh, much for it. watching. Smash that subscribe. Let give us, us a bunch of think. comments. Let us know what you think. Whoever asked us to watch that show, give us some comments about it as well. Let us know what we missed because I'm sure that's all uh, you can have right, a lot of. Uh, my name is Michael White. And this is Darren Torrey. We'll see you guys next time.